Hi, I'm Doug Gardner, and thanks for tuning in today. I just wanted to take a moment to straighten up what seems to be a lot of confusion. I unintentionally misled each of you about what's going on with Wild Photo Adventures TV series, so keep watching to the end. I've got a big announcement. Now, for those of you who don't have a clue what I'm talking about, I'll start from the very beginning. Several years ago, I produced the first ever PBS TV series about how to, where, and when to photograph wildlife and nature. Now, the show was called Wild Photo Adventures, and my goal from the very beginning was only to produce five seasons, which I did. Now, at that point, my career in wildlife photography and cinematography absolutely exploded, leaving me with no time to continue producing these shows. Now, over the years, nearly 100,000 viewers have continued to reach out to me via letter, phone, email, social media, begging me to bring the show back. But these shows are an enormous amount of work, and I simply did not have time to continue producing a properly polished show anymore. So in recent years, I've been trying to figure out a way to continue uh, at least offering a learning resort, resource of some type. So I started the Natural History Channel on YouTube. Now this channel is dedicated to all things related to filming and photographing the natural world. Okay, so here's the catch. Officially, Wild Photo Adventures in its original long form format has ended. Now, but, but, but wait, wait, before you start throwing tomatoes at the screen, hear me out, I've got a solution. The social media has drastically shortened our attention spans over the years, and analytic studies have shown that the average viewer's attention span is only three to five minutes. So with all things considered and that being said, I will continue to produce the show but just in a much different format. I'll be uploading weekly videos of new content, and but they were going to be a little bit different. They're going to be in short, raw, bite-sized videos, but they'll continue to teach you everything you need to know about wildlife photography and wildlife filmmaking. Some of these videos will merely just be cell phone videos that I take while I'm out on assignment or whenever I see something that I figure could be beneficial or a good learning point for you. Some of the content will be more planned out content, such as this. Also, as per your request, I will be uploading uh, the older Wild Photo Adventure episodes that you can go back to time and time again and use it as a resource. Now, even though the videos are a bit outdated, the basics of photography have not changed, so there is a ton of information in there for you. I hope this explanation clears the air and kind of defines my intentions moving forward. Um, I sincerely hope you enjoy the Natural History Channel, find it educational as well as entertaining. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button and please remember to subscribe to the channel. It helps us continue to make videos for you. Thank you.